Casey, Josh Gondelman! Hello, everyone. Good, good evening. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, you guys might not remember because it's been a long time ago, but the first thing I did when I walked in was I saw the lovely woman in the front row and I gave her a bouquet of flowers. Do you mind holding that up just for a moment? <laughs> yeah, that's sweet, right? And everyone kind of, there was like a little awe in the crowd. And that feeling, well, the awe was the feeling of, holy shit, he brought the outdoors indoors. <laughs> people go nuts. Those aren't even good flowers. I'm sorry, miss. I wish I had better flowers to give you. But people get so excited to see the outdoors indoors that it caused a visceral reaction in the room. Uh, I, will, I have a presentation prepared for you. It's called The Great Outdoors. You'd literally be dead without it, which is the truth. The, um, the benefits of being indoors, they are numerous. I won't lie. There's television, there's air conditioning, there's shelter, and there's privacy. Those are important things. And you can't, we can't live outdoors. Everyone that tries it in movies gets eaten by bears. We know it's wrong, and it's bad. Uh, but what's important is there are more benefits to being outdoors, and I would like to run those down for you briefly. Number one, the sun. You know, the source of all life on Earth. I don't know if you know this, but it doesn't fit inside. And not only that, they have those sun lamps, right? It's bringing the outdoors indoors. They have those sun lamps, and, and that's a lamp like any other you put on your desk, but that's so you don't kill yourself in the winter, and that's a good lamp to have. Thank you, one very pale lady with depression clapping. Agriculture, that takes place outside, right? That's where we get all our food. Agriculture. You want to eat something people made without anything that comes from the outside? Enjoy a little bit of weed and Pringles forever. That's all you got. <laughs> Trees turning carbon dioxide into oxygen, like wizards that grow from the ground. <laughs> And the environment they're always trying to save. That's outside. No, no, I don't mean that is outside. I mean literally, outside is the environment. Every inch of it is the environment. We love it all. It's the most important thing in the world. Next slide. Niagara Falls. These are pictures of the outdoors, right? Niagara Falls. That's beautiful. You know, you look at it, right? You know, like, what an amazing, breathtaking feat of nature. I'm gonna take a picture of it, post it on Instagram, and I'll make, make my indoor friends feel real bad and jealous. <laughs> Muir Woods, Redwood Forest. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a lovely, a lovely environ, right? That's like the kind of thing you take a picture of and hang it in your home. How sad would it be if you took a picture of your fucking office cubicle and hung it up on one of those residents? <laughs> the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Grand Canyon. So big, pictures of it barely look impressive. You have to go outdoors and see it in person. Uh, oh, here's what's indoors. Weird Creeps Mom's Basements. That's like what the indoors is. The indoors isn't like a mansion. It's not your house. Everybody's weird home is the indoors. That's where, the indoors is where everybody with a Twitter egg avatar tweeting at Hillary Clinton, you look like you need to get fucked lifts. That's the indoors. Don't shy away from it, that's what it is. Uh, the room from room, that's indoors. <laughs> cool, you can't keep that lady outdoors, she just runs away. <laughs> and Auschwitz, not pictured for reasons of good taste. Uh, that's important. Because there's an important thing here. Creepy stuff happens inside. Outside, you might get hit, you might get attacked by an animal, right? That's true, that's scary. Hippopotamus, that attacks more people than any other animal. How is Auschwitz indoors? Auschwitz is also outdoors. It's, uh, you're right, it's both. I mean, wow. as the granddaughter of an Auschwitz survivor, points, 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 right? Seriously? Yeah, you oh. don't get gassed outdoors. Yep, that's true. They're, they're called, they are called gas chambers, not gas patios, so. <laughs> it's in the title, Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, creepy stuff happens inside. That's real. Bad stuff happens outside. You get attacked by animals. We covered, right? Hippopotamus. You know, more people die having their own ceiling fan fall than like being attacked by hippopotamuses. And I didn't look that up, but it feels true enough that I said it out loud. <laughs> Think about outside. The same stuff outside versus inside, right? Mountain Dew. On the top of a mountain, majestic, 
beautiful. Inside your house, it's a nuclear liquid you guzzle so you can pee in a bottle and not stop playing Fallout 4. <laughs> Creepy stuff happens inside. Uh, here, are sentences, whoops, here are sentences no one has ever spoken. In conclusion, this is, these are things no one has ever said about the outdoors. Number one, they gazed out over the pond into the starry night sky which smelled like bombs. That's number one, no one's ever said that sentence. Sentence number two, no one's ever said. She was confined there for months at a time by her captors, completely unable to leave the sun-dappled meadow that was her prison. That's a sentence no one's ever said. Sentence number three. Bill Cosby invited the women back to his mountain range where he would drug and sexually abuse them. That's never happened. <laughs> and number four, final sentence. Dressed as a clown, he murdered dozens of victims and kept their bodies in a freezer at the bottom of the ocean. Never happened. It's always I, I said that one time. <laughs> I said that this morning. Thank you very much. Good evening.